This is John Cola with OKRod.com. I have another exciting episode for you today. I'm coming at you from my front yard garden. And this is for a very important episode. In this episode, I'm going to talk about mono meals or mono eating. Many people may think, hey, John, what's a mono meal or what's mono eating or what's a solo meal or solo eating? Well, solo eating is like when you're eating alone, but a mono meal <laughs> is when you're only eating one thing. And so what today's episode is going to be, I'm going to explain and talk more about mono meals while I eat. One of my favorite foods in the world It's right behind me. And you can see the tree is literally loaded with these little uh, cherry-like fruits. Well, let's go ahead and pick one off there for you guys. Check it out. Little cherry-like fruit. This one is actually called the sweet gomi tree. This tree hails from China and Japan. I think it's hardy to like zone five, so you could grow these really easily. These fruits are used medicinally in China. They're high in vitamin C, vitamin E. They're uh, high in lycopene and definitely other antioxidants. They are a little bit astringent and maybe kind of like a sour cherry and a sweet cherry, kind of a cross between the two. But it depends on the ripeness. Some of the ones that are shriveling on the tree that I've eaten actually have no astringency. And some of the ones that are kind of like this that are ready to be eaten have a mild bit. But I've noticed as I eat more, then it goes away and I'm just loving this stuff. It's so amazing. So another part of my mono eating video is that I want to encourage you guys to eat the highest quality and freshest picked foods as possible. If you can grow it yourself and pick yourself and eat it yourself at the peak of ripeness, that's going to be always your best mono meals. Otherwise, you're just going to have to do the best you can wherever you live. In any case, I'm going to start eating these guys. Mmm, definitely really good. You can chew up and eat the seeds, but because I don't swallow, I'm going to spit it out. <laughs> now I want to talk about what a mono meal is. So a mono meal is when you eat only one thing at a time until you're completely full. So a mono meal is eating one thing at a meal, and that's all you're eating. So if I was having a mono meal of lettuce, all I would be eating is lettuce. If I'm eating a mono meal of watermelon, I'm going to eat all the watermelon I desire until my body tells me to stop or until I'm full, <laughs> which may be one of the same and sometimes maybe not. Mono meal is really simple and easy to do. All you need is one food. You don't have to make anything in the kitchen. You don't have to prepare any elaborate raw food recipes. While many of my meals are actually mono meals, I also transfer the simplicity of eating mono at some of my other meals that are actually not mono meals. So in general, I tend to eat things that have less than five or six ingredients at one time. Usually my dinner salad is probably has maybe about five or six ingredients total, including the dressing. So I tend to eat really simply, and that's one of the benefits of mono eating. When you do eat simply, uh, they say, and I've observed, that it is a lot easier for your body to process and digest, which means you're going to have a lot more energy to do what you want to do in life. Next, I'm going to take a break and see if I can wipe out some of these sweet gummy fruits. Doesn't get any fresher than this. Eating it right off the plant. Well, as you can see, I'm stripping back sections of the tree of all its fruits, and I'm getting handfuls. I'm literally popping them in the mouth, chewing them all up, and I'm actually spitting out all the hard seed-like material. It's actually, it's kind of trippy. It actually kind of looks like this. It's like little stringy things. But I suck all the juice out and get all the good stuff. And to me, it's like on an astringency level from like zero to 10. It's probably about a two, Yeah, you know, after you keep it going and you're still eating it, I'm fine with it. It's just a barely astringent. Some people may consider these like, uh, you know, pie fruits or jam fruits to use in pies or jams, but actually I like to eat these out of hand a lot. You know, one of the things I like to do is to eat a wide variety of foods as wide as possible. And you know, now this is probably one of my first ever mono meals of this fruit because it's the first time that this fruit tree has actually produced fruit. So this tree can take a few years after you plant it to produce, but once it's in full production, it can generate 10 to 15 pounds of fruit a year. I think I only got a few pounds this year, and I'll be happy if I could get this one mono meal out of it. So when you start your mono meal, one of the things you're gonna be noticing is, you know, when you are eating the food, the sensations, the smells of the food and how it tastes. And right when you start eating a particular food, you're gonna be like, wow, that tastes so good. And Hopefully that's because you are hungry and whatever you're eating is going to quench some of that hunger. And as you eat the food, you're going to want to pay particular attention as to how your taste buds may be changing over time or maybe how your body's feeling 
at some point your taste may change and you may just be shoveling stuff in your mouth but it doesn't taste quite as good as that first bite and at some point there'll be the taste change and that's when your mono meal should be over and you should stop what you're eating and you know go back to work or do whatever you're doing in life and don't worry about food until the time that hunger calls again and that you will be eating again so I'm gonna go ahead and chomp on some more of these berries mmm well, I just got done picking all the rest of the fruits on this tree and here they are in my hand now uh, this is probably my last handful I'm feeling pretty good about these guys I'm still enjoying the flavor immensely I can't really put the flavor into words like these ones are not I wouldn't say they're like sweet like a sweet cherry but take a sweet cherry that's not totally ripe with a hint of tart cherry not a lot now once again it also is very important on when you pick your fruits on this particular tree on the sweet gomi uh, this tree basically had been uh, getting ripe for about the last month the other side of the tree actually had zero fruit on it the fruit had actually dropped and I'd eaten some of that stuff but because that had dropped that gave me the indicator that hey maybe it's really ripe now and I need to eat the rest of them before the birds get them so that's the stage that I'm eating them now and once again if you are picking your own fruit or growing your own fruit then you alone get to choose when you want to harvest them uh, otherwise if you buy fruit at the store uh, then it is picked actually uh, quite too early and then needs to be shipped and it's picked early so that could make the shipment and stay hard uh, if it's you're buying it from the farmers market that's even better than buying it from the store because hopefully they're picking picking it a little bit riper as the fruit gets riper it tastes better but also has more nutrition so I was waiting for these guys to uh, be at the peak ripeness to have the least amount of astringency and the most nutrition ever these guys are nice dark rich and red probably really full of antioxidants and other things that are good for me I'm gonna go ahead and eat this last handful and I'll be back at you to share with you more about mono meals mmm so that last mouthful of the sweet gomi fruits were delicious I love them a lot now I want to talk more about the mono meals like I didn't quite get that taste change that I was expecting I probably could have used at least uh, maybe five or six more handfuls and then maybe I would have although I did have definitely a nice meal of the sweet gomi fruits so to sum up mono meals real quick number one mono meals are easy to digest because you're only eating one thing so your body only has to deal with one item there's things called food combining and you can look that up if you aren't familiar with that and that says you're only supposed to eat certain things with certain other things otherwise it's not gonna you know digest well for you and I have found that some people may benefit more from food combining than others for example my ex-girlfriend if she didn't food combine she would totally not feel well but if she food combined she would feel you know pretty good actually so some people have weaker or stronger digestive systems a stronger digestive system is that means that you can you know miscombine and eat things that are more complex in nature but it doesn't mean you should be so I always strive to eat as many mono meals or as simple meals as I can by uh, minimizing the number of ingredients I use so in many cases I just eat mono fruit meals so I'll just eat a meal of all fruit you know so for this morning I had uh, cactus pear juice and actually cucumber juice so those are two things I could have made just cactus pear juice but I had a lot of cucumbers I needed to use also so I combined the two so that was a duo meal instead of a mono meal but the message is to eat as simply as you possibly can try not to have like 30 ingredients in every meal try to have less than six would be my opinion on that number two mono meals can be helpful if you are having allergies or having some funky things going on you want to kind of isolate if you only eat pineapples and then you get a reaction you know skin eruption breakout itching anus or whatever it is then you know the mono meal of pineapples did that to you nowadays with you know pe many people having things like dairy allergies and gluten insensitivities and you know MSG sensitivities and all kinds of things when you're eating all these highly processed foods you literally don't know what's in there and you don't know what may be causing some of your ails and it may possibly be a food allergy uh, if you do have a food allergy I want to also encourage you to visit a healthcare practitioner that would further be able to help you with that uh, this video is for educational purposes only another reason why I like mono meals is because it's just so simple and you'll also actually save money <laughs> it's so simple because you only need to eat one thing you don't need to ha spend any time in the f in the kitchen preparing your food and you could save money be because you can eat the mono meals of things that are in season fresh and ripe and usually those are the things that are on sale and they're gonna cost the least amount of money 
In addition, mono meals are time saving because you aren't spending time in the kitchen prepare for your food. You literally just need to cut open that watermelon and eat it or you could bare hand eat your watermelon without any utensils. That's always fun and a little bit messy, but it's better to do it with somebody. <laughs> Another thing when eating mono meals, it may encourage you to eat a higher quality food. You're not going to want to sit and eat, you know, two pounds of yucky apples or yucky bananas that aren't too good a quality that taste like cardboard. You're going to strive to get the organic fair trade bananas or those peaches from the farmer's market from Kawaashi Farms who makes the highest quality organic peaches this side of Lake Tahoe. <laughs> So hopefully, you you know, because you're not going to want to waste your meal and your pleasure, your enjoyment on some food that's just not so good. If you're eating a mono meal, you'll also know when to stop because you'll be fully satisfied with whatever you're eating and stop at that point. You know, you don't have to finish off your plate. If you're eating berries, you could literally stop by eating, you know, one less berry or eat one more berry or whatever, whenever you're ready to stop. If you're eating a watermelon, hey, stop at that last bite because I have taken one extra bite of watermelon and it put me over the edge and I got the dreaded watermelon tummy eating too much watermelon. So uh, you know that's definitely a good reason so that you won't overeat on any diet including a raw foods diet. Another reason why I like mono meals is because you're going to appreciate your food more and hopefully especially where it comes from. I super appreciated that the sweet gomi tree right here put out fruits for me to eat this year and literally fed me almost a whole entire mono meal today and hopefully you guys will also be in gratitude of the food that is provided by all the plants on earth for us to eat and the farmers that grew them if you're not growing it yourself. So hopefully you guys enjoyed learning more about mono meals today. If you haven't ever tried a mono meal yet, hey, the first thing is to just try it. You know, try one. Don't like say I'm going to eat the rest of my life only mono meals, you know. While I do eat a lot of mono meals and usually at least one mono meal a day, you know, I, I think life would be boring if you ate only mono meals. So I like to get a little complex and that's where six or less ingredients come in, you know, maybe for my dinner at night or for a juice, I'll have five or less ingredients, many times just two or three. I like to keep it real simple, real easy, saves time, digest better. But yeah, start with mono meals and just start out with a single mono meal of some fruit and see how you enjoy it. And if you do, continue. And if not, hey, go back to whatever you're doing that may be working better for you. That being said, I've been doing this a long time and the mono meals seem to work really well for me and I hope they work good for you too. So once again, my name is John Kohler with OKRod.com. We'll see you next time. And remember, keep eating your fresh fruits and vegetables. They're the best.